Today I'm going to show you six ways that you can use to fold your Bruxit briefs. Yes, six ways. We're going to go over some really quick and easy ways to fold Bruxit briefs first, and then we'll move on to some more file folding and rolls, which will be space saving, excellent for travel. But let's start with the quickest and easiest ways first. Just start by laying the Bruxit briefs flat with the front side facing up, and then we fold them over from side to side in half, and repeat again from top all the way down to the bottom like so. And now we can stack them on top of each other. Super easy, right? But it's not so space saving. It's not really organized either but it's a quick way to do it. So next here I want to show you this alternative which it takes up way less space. Again we're starting with a box of brace with the front side facing up and we're folding it up in half from side to side like so. Now at this point we're going to fold in the crotch area like this so that we get a nice even line here and we're splitting the garment into three parts from top to bottom and folding the bottom up one third of the way like so. Then we take the top and we fold it down to the bottom like so and there you have perfectly organized and folded up underwear. Now as you probably gather here this is kind of a file fold and you could could file them like this but they're a little bit flimsy right so what i think we're going to do instead is that we're going to do this file fold which is the classic way these ones can be stacked next to each other in your wardrobe really nice so starting with a box of brace here with the front side facing up again we're going to split it into three parts this time and we're folding in one third of the way on one side and one third of the way on the other side as well at this point we're going to split the box of brace into three parts from top to bottom now if it flares out a little bit on one side you can fold it underneath like this that's totally fine so Following up one third of the way like so and one more time one third of the way always get some singing training when i'm doing these videos uh, <laughs> for some reason as you can see here now if we lift this garment up and we can stack it like this so the thing is if it doesn't stand on its own and it's falling down what you can do is kind of press it in and down like this that way it gets some more surface to stand on and that's totally fine now this fold is excellent for stacking your garments next to each other it's a little bit flimsy but for the wardrobe this is excellent anyway as you can imagine this is a little bit flimsy if you're going to take it out traveling right it's, it falls apart easily so what i'm going to do instead is teach you this variation of the file fold which is uh, a lot more sturdy it doesn't fall apart very easily and uh, it's awesome for travel so again starting with the boxer briefs with the front side facing up like this we're folding it in one third of the way on one side and one third on the other side as well like so again you can fold it underneath uh, if it flares out a little bit at the bottom there we're going to split the boxer briefs into three parts again but this time we're going to fold from the top instead of the bottom so you want to fold the top up down just slightly less than one third of the way and then we're going to open up the top layer of the boxer brief here and we're going to take the bottom and usually it's easier if you make like a flat palm here and you stuff it inside the top layer here you just need to lift up the the very top um, elastic band of your boxer brief like this and at this point it looks kind of wonky so what i like to do is put my hand in there and just kind of adjust the corners and pull it down properly so that it gets a nice shape like so and now you can stack it standing up if you want to or you can place it laying down great for your luggage for sure now those are the folds right but i want to show you some rolls as well rolls are awesome because they take up even less space and also the rolls you can use for travel the first one i'm going to show you here is pretty crease resistant as well not that it really matters for boxers you can even place them standing up if you're so inclined so how do we roll up boxer briefs? Start by laying them down with the front side facing up and we fold in one third of the way from one side and one third of the way from the other side as well. Kind of flaring out there, don't worry, you can stuff it underneath, it's no big deal. From the bottom this time we're going to start rolling up the garment. Now the tighter you roll it the more it's going to crease, so just keep that in mind. Also the more tighter you roll it of course it's going to take up less space, which is awesome. So you want to let it rest here on the waistband, that way it doesn't unroll so quickly. And that is kind of the problem with this fold, but if you do take like a hairband you can place that over it and it's going to hold it together nicely so i want to show you this variation instead that is called the range roll now this one is great for travel as well for saving space as you can see here you can place it lay down you can place it standing up if you're so inclined so again with the front side facing up here we're going to flip the waistband underneath like so a couple of inches here is more than enough so we're going to split it into three parts here i'm folding in one third of the way from one side and we repeat on the other side as well like so now again if it kind of flares out here at the bottom you can just fold it on underneath no big deal really and we're gonna start rolling from the bottom now again the tighter you roll the more space you're going to save but also <laughs> you're gonna crease up the garment more so you have to kind of weigh that up yourself once you make it to the top pair lift up the roll and we're gonna flip the waistband over the roll like so that kind of secures it in place turn it around and repeat on the other side as well like this now if it looks kind of wonky like this especially the first, first couple of times you do this you can stick your fingers inside and kind of adjust it a little bit you can give it a little massage if you want 
<laughs> show some love. And you can place it standing up as well like this. If it doesn't stand up on its own, you can flatten it a little bit at the bottom like that and it should stand up totally fine on its own. And if you're having trouble with any of these folds, especially these rolls as well as the file fold that I showed you earlier, I do actually have folding cheat sheets with step-by-step -step instructions for all of these folds for all your garments pretty much. You can consider checking it out uh, below this video. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.